Hello, I'm Kate with Kate's Paper Creations. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Washington State, and I'm also a Silhouette Cameo user as well. So once in a while you get to see some 3D projects from that. But today I am featuring the Plentiful Plants stamp set. Actually, bundle, says it comes with the stamps and with the dies. And you can find this on page 81 of the current um, annual catalog for 2021 to 2022. And this is the card we're going to make today. So let me get you started. I started with a standard basic white thick card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it'll become a side fold greeting card. Layer one is petal pink. It is cut at four by five and a quarter. And I am going to attach it flat to the front of the card with stamp and seal. And it will leave that eighth inch border all the way around so you get that little bit of a white border like that. Then the next layer comes from In Good Taste Designer Series Papers and it is cut three and a half by four and three quarters and it's also going to go on the front of the card just flat. Just like this and it's going to leave about a quarter inch border all the way around. So it leaves that lovely petal pink showing up. Then from that stamp set, I uh, stamped and cut out, or die cut, I should say, some various things. Here's the pot that I, I stamped with cinnamon cider. Then I cut the hanger out of Misty Moonlight, and I cut away this section here and this section here so it just leaves the center then i stamped this image onto um, mossy meadow and i stamped this tone on tone this is um, soft succulent stamped on soft succulent paper tone on tone then i cut these two out from evening evergreen and mossy meadow and these two pots I cut out from Mary Merlot. And this is what I'm gonna use for my shelves. It was cut from Cinnamon Cider. It's a quarter of an inch wide by about four and a half inches long. And as you can see, I cut it so um, to make my shelves. So let's see, I need some glue dots and some dimensionals and we'll get started building. I used the edge of my dimensionals to put behind this piece that I'm going to use for the shelf, for the shelves that it rests on. And so I'm just going to cut down the side here like this. It's probably longer than I need, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Peel that away and put that on here, right down the middle. Oh, it actually came up a little short. That's okay, guys. I think I've still got plenty. So then I cut these pieces, and this one is, well, let's measure them, because I didn't really measure when I built it. That one is just about an inch and an inch, and this one is an inch and three quarters. So that's what we can do here. We'll just cut those right here. There's about an inch. And I need another one that's an inch. And then this one will be my last one and I'll just trim off that extra. And it's a little bit longer than an inch and three quarters. We can trim it off just a little bit. And there's that piece. So then I've got my shelves. And we can start by placing this piece together. So I just took the 
pot and I had already glued this together. I used my two-way glue pin and just put some dots of glue on the back of the hanger and stuck it to the flower pot. Okay, and then this piece, I am going to just put a mini glue dot on the base of it right here. And then I'm just going to stick it up behind here like that. And then that's going to go on the front with regular dimensionals. And we'll put, don't really need that many, but I guess it'll be okay. Let's put a, I don't want them to show, so I'll put a mini behind that one and that one. And of course, this one is a hanging plant, so it doesn't need a shelf. And push these things aside a little bit, trying to stay within the camera. And so it goes about like that, I think, will work. And then up here at the top, I didn't try to raise up that um, hanger, and I just didn't want thread, so I'm using the blue adhesive backed gems. And I'm going to just put one of those larger ones right on that and just use it like that. And then I'm going to fasten that down with a glue dot underneath. Like that. Okay. Now we will start with the first shelf. We'll put the shelf on. And I think right about, well, that is just crooked on that end, and I don't like it. So let's straighten it up. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to put this one right here. And then here's the little flower pot, and one of these succulents goes in there. And it just needs a glue dot to stick it on. So we'll get that in here. Actually, I put it on the wrong side. I need it on the other side so that it has that lovely design that it has in it showing through. And then this is going to get dimensionals, and that's where those minis come in handy because this is kind of small. So I'm just going to put a mini there. I'm not going to put anything behind the plant itself. I don't think it needs it. And there's shelf number one. Then shelf number two, let's dry fit it a little bit here first. That's going to be this pot and I'm going to attach this to it and I'm just going to put a glue dot right here on this middle section and it's going to go down behind into the pot like that. So that's what it looks like there. Make sure that glue dot gets covered up. There we go. And then it will get dimensionals as well. And bring back those minis. And put one on here and here. And then it could just have a regular one right here. And let's put a mini down there as well. So that should support that just fine. And I'm thinking maybe just a little bit lower. And I think right about there is going to be good. So let's put the shelf on. Right there. And then we'll put this pot. on the shelf. And actually this one didn't need those mini glue dots behind, I mean the dimensionals, because it's going to overlap on the shelf. I had forgotten about that. So what I'm going to do is come back with a mini glue dot and put behind it to hold it there. That works. Just like that. There we go. And then the third shelf, again, it's the same kind of plant, so put a mini glue dot on the fr back front of this. 
There we go. And stick it in the pot like that and then give it its little dimensionals and get this shelf ready and it's going to be very near the bottom so that there's room for this plant to stand up And spacing is pretty much up to you. Let's get it stored away a little bit better. There we go. Then I made this sentiment. I stamped it on a piece that is half inch by, oh, it's about two and a quarter. And um, I wanted it to fit here so you can see what I did. I just cut the word friend like that. And then I put dimensionals on the back and put it where I wanted it. So we'll put two on that piece and just one on that one. To a dear friend. And there is today's current catalog project using the Plentiful Plants Bundle. Thank you for watching today's video. I invite you to shop my online store for your card making and paper crafting supplies. The link is in the description box below as well as a link to my blog where you can find out about current special promotions and sales and I send a small gift to everyone who places an order with me so you can expect something special in the mail. It'll be small, maybe a, a sheet of dimensionals or something, but it's just my way of saying thank you for shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video.